we are going up this valley over here. There's splits into two. We're going up the Havelock River. We're going to check out three huts, and two of them have very funny names, but I'll tell you about that later. Um, this We're, is, hi! <laughs> this, you is, me? Uh, this is Brad. So he's got um, Dusty, which is yeah. an old 79 Range Rover. And then you know this one, Series 2A. And believe it or not, this is actually a runway right here. For airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what Top Gear would do. Very great. <laughs> So I've got a little surprise in the back of uh, my Landy and I'll show you that later. That's pretty cool. A new sponsor's come on board so they want me to try out one of their products. Should be good. We'll go. Okay. Right. Should we go? Let's roll. Just come to our first river crossing. Oh, it's windy. Oh, there goes your 70 k an hour wind. Yeah. Jeez, look at it over there. Alrighty, just about to do our first river crossing. to show you something very cool. Oh, it's windy, it's windy. Look at that, that guy's parked up there, that looks quite dramatic. We're at Hobbiton! <laughs> Precious! Not, not quite Hobbiton, but uh, the mountain over there is from Lord of the Rings, Helm's Deep, if anyone knows that. It sounds like a porno. Oh, I can't use that. <laughs> cut, cut. Yes, master. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go over there. He doesn't know, but precious. He must carry on, precious. <laughs> You're probably not going to see that very well, but that is spectacular over there. struggling to find a way through this part because there is um, a lot of big rocks and a lot of big drop-offs. Brad's just going down there. It's have we nosy. Our dilemma is it's very hard to find like an actual track and then there's quite a bank all the way along here to get up. Like I think I, I could get up there but I don't know what's on the other side. All right so I managed to find a way over there and Brad's way down in the river 
and the riverbed. Um, he's chugging along. Oh. So hopefully I'll catch up with him. There's Brad down over there. He's trying to come back up now. been mixing it up um, who goes in front because it's actually quite hard work trying to find a track to go the person that's just following just has to follow right but the person in front has to go like oh god this way is it that way is it this way is it that way this guy that came through here before um, we're just talking to him 20 minutes ago and um, he said that this place had a Oh, a massive washout um, I don't know what it was a few years ago or something and it's just there's no track being defined since then so it makes it hard so. fuck I don't know where we're going here oh, we are just coming out of the riverbed finally that was um, some of the hardest shit I've done for a while Very close. Oh, you can just see the top of the hut over there. Looks like there's already a few vehicles here, so I'm guessing we're not going to be staying the night here. Bug it. Go inside, have a look. Mistake flat hut. Oh, what is that first time here? Oh, the fire's going out. But yeah, it looks pretty full in here. So, yeah, we're going to have to find something else to do. We're going to head off and see if we can get across to uh, the other hut across the valley because this one's all full. So, yeah. We might be arriving in the dark. Oh my goodness. This is tough. These are uh, some pretty big boulders out here and there's absolutely no track so we are oh, fuck, finding our way through making our own track <laughs> we're getting there <laughs> we're getting there what do we got 20 minutes of daylight Trapping full of drivers let's take it real slow man Just um, hold it there, hold it there, don't go, don't go. Hold that and say something to the camera. Uh, no, 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 there's a rock, I want to move the rock. Otherwise you're uh, going to come down on it. I'll tell you a joke. What's the difference between a hedgehog and a Range Rover? Hedgehogs have their pricks on the outside. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> oh my goodness, we are getting closer and closer. Um, but it's, oh, it's like a minefield of massive boulders. It's not easy in an old 1972 Series 28 Land Rover with 31 inch tires no power steering oh, we're happy we're happy we've made it oh, right across that massive uh, river valley on 
just gonna, oh, there's still ice over here. Guys, that was a massive mission. Massive. So the old hut that we are at just before, well, a couple of hours ago, <laughs> he's happy, he's happy. <laughs> that was bloody good, eh? That was a bit 50-50, man, like, because it's getting late, it's getting dark. And if you look up there, it's raining or snowing. It's probably, what, maybe three degrees, four degrees? This hut has a, the old original name. It was Darkie Jim's hut. Now, I don't know why it was called that, um, but that's what it was called. We'll go around. See if we can see it. Whew. I'm guessing there'll be no one here. Is it up? Oh shit. We have to go up here. Is it up the top there? Oh. We might be getting a, a hut with a view. Oh yeah, I see a hut. Curtis Memorial Hut. Look at this. How good. Oh, look at this. Oh, mate. Holy moly, Frank hands. Look at that fire. Stand still. That's not a bad view. Yeah, it's epic. Oh my guy over here. Is there, I got the fire going. It's a... Uh, it's a hut with a view, that's for sure. This is incredible. So its official name is Curtis Memorial Hut. But some maps might say Ducky Jim's Hut. Hopefully, tomorrow, it's not so windy and I'll um, chuck the drone up and get a good look. Righto, Chef. Hello. What do we got? <laughs> what do we got for dinner? Oh, yeah. We're doing boiled some spuds. Yes, we'll mash them up. Yeah. Mashed spuds. We're gonna do like a curried sausages. Uh, deviled sausages. Yeah. We'll make it up as we go. Yeah. Some board wars. Yeah. So we can we'll grow them on this? Just for fun. Tennis racket. Yeah. Grill some onions. Do some onions in the pan. I don't know about you, but I like my. My deviled sausage with some apple. Apple, yeah. Uh, fancy bangers and mash, we yeah, say. Okay. And then breakfast. Um, Chia butters. Chia butters, eggs, tomato, BLTs. With some eggs. eggs. So what do we got? Curried sausages, apple, onion. Garlic, <laughs> sauce, butter wars, and then we've got some fried, sort of mashed potato. Fried mashed potato. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Fried and mashed. Ooh, it actually looks really good. Yeah. And a bit of milk in there. Yeah. Ready to go. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. And Well, we made it through the night. The wee bread. Oh, we did camera time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just woke it up. We did make it through the night. No possum scratching on the road. No. no. A little bit windy. Dog is farting a bit. Yeah. Um, you have the farts, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. So we just got the old belly on, boiling up some water. And um, that was the view that we woke up to. It's not bad. If you come around this side. Yeah, it's pretty good. So th this guy's a bit of a whiz in the kitchen. Wow. Hey, look at him go. What do we got here? Bacon and eggs. Very, very um, oh, traditional meal. Oh, look at that. Right, guys, this is the new product that I've got to test out. An EcoFlow River 2 Pro.
the good people there sent me this. Oh, look at this, I can peel this off. Oh, very satisfying. Very nice. Basically, it's a big storage of, um, a big battery storage. So you can plug anything in. So I can charge, charge up my GoPro batteries. What if I turn it on? Charge up my radios overnight. And it tells me quite a few bits of information. It'll tell you how many watts it's putting out. It's got 88% battery left in this. Pretty cool because I've had this going all night. It'll tell me how many hours it'll run for in the current state, like whatever you're charging. Down here, I'm gonna take these out. Down here you've got your um, AC supply. So you literally just push that button. You'll hear it humming a little bit, just a tiny little hum. And that's the inverter working so you can plug anything in and you have 230 volts when you're out in the bush or wherever you are. If you've got a power cut at home, you can use this. So I'll tell you, it's at 50 hertz because we use 50 hertz cycle in New Zealand. Um, 45 hours. Depending on what you plug in, how much power it uses, that number will come down and will tell you how much how much time you've got left on it. Yeah, DC over here. So there's your cigarette lighter, so lots of things you can plug into there, like um, fridge freezers and all that sort of jazz. But if I turn it around, I'll show you the back. So you can just plug it up, um, sorry, plug it in at home, charge it up, or you can actually use, so they come with all the, um, all the charging points, so you can use this, plug this in here, you can charge it on your DC in your vehicle, so your cigarette lighter, so you can charge it on the go. You can also charge it via solar panels. Yeah, just a cool little thing, just carry around. EcoFlow make oh, lots of different products. So even if you're not into camping and you wanted one just for at home, um, if you get a lot of power cuts, use it for emergencies, charge up your cell phones, charge up um, lights or whatever. Great little wee product. Great wee product. Right, we're pretty much all packed up and uh, almost ready to go. Get up, mate. Brad's just doing a little bit of maintenance. Preventative maintenance or reactive? I don't yes. know. Well, we were shaking around a bit yesterday and you know, this old girl, she's 45 years old and things come loose. Look at all the mud everywhere. Just checking like vacuum lines, leads, oils, fittings, electrical wires, things like that. Yeah, nice. That's a good thing to do. This is a bit different to your engine, this is petrol. Yeah. yeah as you can see I've gone for the extreme mm. performance orientated air filter system. But I can't go into water like you can. Yeah. So yeah, I really need to You really need to put a diesel ah. in there. Is that what you're saying? No, nah, don't do it mate. <laughs> It's a lovely sounding V8. Yeah, no, she runs good. All 130 odd horsepower. Jeez. Yeah. Chuck this thing on the dyno, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going by the manual. Oh, yeah. We're doing quite well because this is the middle of winter here in New Zealand. Yeah. The snow line is it's quite high. Like, if we look around, like, this mountain behind us doesn't even have any snow on it. Um, but normally this time of the year there'd be a lot more snow. We're all packed up, ready to go. I'm 
Okay, we've made our way across here. We've got to the end and um, now we've got to go back down into the riverbed. You can see some utes over there. They're like a good, I don't know, we're saying like a kilometre and a half away. Yeah. So to give you a perspective, that whole braid, that whole river is a good kilometre wide. Eat. Slowly making our way back down the valley. That over there is a, um, a runway for airplanes. And there's a hut up there called the Growler, which we're going to go have a look at. Oh, nice little wee spot here. Oh, a couple of sleeping bags still here. Must be hunters. Please do not drive on a strip. Roger. We won't do that. Yeah, we'll call hut. We'll probably have something to eat here and um, maybe just chill out here for 10, 20 minutes. And then we'll continue on down the valley and we'll just see if we can cross down there the so we don't have to go back home the same way that we came. What do you reckon, Brad? Can I have more coffee and then I'll talk to Okay, he wants more coffee. So there's the hut. If you want to go for a poo or a pee. Yeah. You come over here and look at this. You can shit while having a view glass so you sit here and you go wow what a view <laughs> classic This way, looks like a bloody long way. But there should be a turn off somewhere up here. It actually might be this here. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so that way is the way that we came in yesterday morning. Um, and fingers crossed, we can exit this way. Righto, that wraps it up. We've finished the track. We've just got to cross the uh, farmer's paddock here to get back onto the main road and then we're away laughing. But it has been a... It was fun, eh? It was, like, a, it was a very good trip. That it's was... amazing how your confidence grows when you're driving on riverbeds. Like, you look at the, the, the obstacle and you think, that's huge. And then yeah. you just, you, you're just like, nah, there's nothing by the end of the day. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed that video, give it the like. Give it a give it a subscribe. Or become a Patreon like me, number one. You get all the, the back scene uh, cuts uh, and all the extra information um, from, from Hayden, which is nice. A bit of merchandise. And help him actually um, pay for some of the stuff, like all the gear, yeah, for repairs on the land there and things like that. And um, you make, it makes you feel a lot more um, part of the journey. Thanks, mate, thanks. I'll leave a link below. And if you're interested in their EcoFlow product, I'll leave a link below as well. Cheers, guys. Kaki Day. Cheers.